will take it. Robson's header. Headed off the line by Samways. McGraw getting in there. And Strachan uh, puts it wide. So uh, Spurs saved by the header on the line from Vinnie Samways. A tremendous header there by Brian Robson. From Strachan's corner. Accurately placed. A tremendous leap there by the Manchester United skipper. And knocked off the line by Samways. Hughes for Manchester United. Eight minutes of this half remaining. Mitchell Thomas, a compromising bit of defence. And a splendid ball now through to Chris Waddle. And a marvellous goal for Tottenham. One end of the field to the other. And Chris Waddle rams it home. bad for a man who woke up this morning with a temperature of 103 and at 7.30 had to call the doctor but pronounced himself fit to play and Spurs are delighted that he did a great ball out of defence superbly taken in his stride by Waddle and Spurs go ahead Waddle Bra. Bruce free kick to Manchester United Mitchell Thomas went on mauling Peter Davenport. Strachan. Chip by him. In fact, it's a tremendous shot there by Mark Hughes. Volley is almost a copyright of Mark Hughes and uh, he crashed that in on the turn to bring it level to 1-1. One, one. Gascoigne pulled back by Duxbury, a free kick to top. Going shot, a long raking shot that the Spurs fans enjoyed. They would have enjoyed it a good deal more, of course, if they just kept inside Nate Leighton's post. But that was struck with some venom there by Paul Gascoigne, minimum of backlift. Not so far away. Here's McClare with Hughes waiting in the middle. A nice burst of speed there by McClare, but it was matched by Mabbott and the clearance made by him Walsh can he get the better of Bruce can he send Paul Stewart on his way the flag stays down still with Stewart playing it into the path of Gascoigne against the post Allen playing it back across the goal and then behind by Paul McGrath Spurs within a whisker of going into the lead when Gascoigne's shot was planted against the post this is Gascoigne's shot and here comes the corner Samway's with it Samway's great jump by Stewart and Robson as cool as you like Robson furious not with the referee I thought for a moment but with defenders who weren't giving enough cover but what a fabulous jump by Paul Stewart it will certainly open the eyes of Spurs fans many of whom will be seeing him uh, properly for the first time today terrific jump at the far post 
Gascoigne. Mitchell Thomas. Spenick. And a throw to United. And they're going to take off. Taking off Peter Davenport. No, they're taking off uh, number two, Billy Gardens, coming off. And Peter Davenport's coming off. They're making a double substitution. Viv Anderson comes on. And uh, as well as Viv Anderson, the England fullback. And Manchester United, the Danish star, Jesper Olsen. Anderson's first game since the end of last season when he was injured against Liverpool. quickly into the action as he has to well he can't stop uh, Hewton's pass to Walsh but now he can get in there it was a foot in injury that uh, Viv Anderson had and they've actually had to build a special boot with a special heel on it to make Viv comfortable for first division action okay. also Good cross in from Olsen, the sort of cross that very often leads to an own goal, but Mamet was nicely in control there at the expense of a corner though. Which Strachan will take. This is where Anderson over the seasons with Nottingham Forest and with Arsenal and with Manchester United has been so often an awkward customer with England as well. Good header of the ball from this sort of situation and he got a little touch on there. kick to United Strachan here's Hughes McClare waiting there and United are in the lead well Hughes the scorer of the first goal the provider of the second with an inch perfect cross there McClare waiting uh, in the middle to get his first league goal of the season. There's the cross. There's the header by Brian McClare. David Howes. to Samways and now to Paul Walsh and Spurs are level delight amongst the uh, Tottenham faithful and a really intricate move of high skill there some delightful touches that in the end left Paul Walsh with more time than he was entitled to expect and that makes it 2-2 Walsh, his first goal of the season, an important two for Tottenham. And Spurs really are making quite a habit of saving themselves late in the game. But here's Robson on the break for United, finding Brian McClare. Walsh. Oh, and he's found Stewart. Now, could this open up for Tottenham? Paul Stewart on the charge. Penalty. It looked to me like a shove in the back on Stewart. 
who was rifling his way towards that United goal. And what an astonishing finish we've got again. Well, what do you think? It looked very much like a shove. And an almost identical situation from last week. When Spurs were down and then scored twice late in the game against Middlesbrough to beat them. The second of them coming from the penalty spot. Now Fennick took it last week. And uh, Fennick, it would seem, has that responsibility this week. No, it's going to be Stewart. And he's missed it! What agony for the man who cost £1.7 million. Pounds. It makes you wonder why change a winning formula when Fennick had scored from the spot last week and Stewart hit it powerfully enough shook the crossbar and the ball